this point in time, somewhere in the past, the timeline skewed into this tangent in order to put the universe back as we remember it and get back to our reality. Hey, why don't we just turn off Auto Ripple? So we're in Vegas Pro 17, and what we're going to do is talk about Auto Ripple. I set up a project here. This is just a dummy project with just a bunch of crazy cuts that don't make any sense. Uh, but it's to do it to show you how the timeline is affected when you're using Auto Ripple and help you better understand the tool. And if you're not using it, you definitely will be after this tutorial. It is a lifesaver. So a common thing to happen uh, is you decide you're going to change something here in the middle. Let's decide I want this shorter. Well, if I shorten it, now I got a gap. Then I got to move this, and then I got to move this and then I gotta move this and that takes some time so I'm just gonna hit control Z to do all that if I want it all done at one time I can just turn on auto ripple and then move them all together or better yet see that auto ripples on so it'll also move everything back as well but better yet if it was originally this is how it originally was if I have auto ripple toggled on now I can scroll this back and everything will move with it that's very cool now there's some things to keep in mind about auto ripple if you have only affected tracks on it will only move the effective tracks now right now I have it to where this when it's on is affecting everything because of how this is all linked together but in reality it's only the audio groupings here and the the event groupings that are keeping all of these moving together so for example this is linked with this audio right this clip and audio are linked they are grouped together and this video and this audio is linked and grouped together so when I move this video it moves both this audio and this audio because it's affecting these two clips or events and it's by default affecting these two so if I hit this button right here ignore event groupings what that will do is it'll actually then the auto ripple only applies to the affected tracks here because these tracks are no longer moving their groups around so that's what it means by affected right if I, it just only changes what is directly affected by the change so when you hit all affected tracks markers and regions even if this ignore event grouping is on it'll move everything behind it with you so when I say everything behind it watch this if I move this see it moved everything that started at the same time and everything that started behind it the two things it didn't move are this audio clip and this video clip right here because they started before it so keep that in mind when you're using it it'll only move everything that starts at the event time or after it in the timeline so that is the basics of auto ripple there is another third trick here I would never select this one because it doesn't change much from affected tracks so really you'll be talking through affected tracks to all markers and regions all markers and regions is what I typically leave mine on unless I have something specific I'm doing and so now you have a way to manipulate your entire edit together I love this about Vegas. It's probably one of the most useful features. So if you're not using it, hopefully you will use it soon. Uh, this has been Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and we do lots of Vegas tutorials, so stick around for those, and also some video-related tutorials as well. Some Vegas effect tutorials will be coming out shortly. Anything you buy through our affiliates links helps us out a ton. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.